This screencast will demonstrate how to create a template virtual machine. To create a template, we first need to create the VM itself. To do that, I go to my Dennis Data Center and select Create a New Virtual Machine. This will start this wizard, and here we give it a name, and we select a location. For now, I'm just going to select the Data Center itself, which is a root, which will be zero wait state. Next, we select the server and the data store for the location of the VM. This particular virtual machine is going to be Windows 2008 64-bit. And I'd like to enable thin provisioning. And that looks good. So now to get the operating system on this virtual machine, I need to mount my local hard drive. And if we see here, that option is not available. Therefore, if I start the virtual machine, it'll go ahead and try to mount my local partition, and the menu option is now enabled. So I can select the ISO, and then uh, when I get an error message here that the operating system isn't found, if I hit the space bar, it'll go ahead and load the, uh, the operating system install. Okay, so now we can install the operating system. Your actual installation will take longer than what you see here. So I have sped up this process uh, for the purposes of the screencast. Normally you'd enter in your serial number there. This is all a standard installation. So there's nothing special here. Okay, so after Windows is installed, you need to change the administrator password. So let me do that here. Now once this is finished, I will go ahead and do all the updates required for Service Pack 1 which was my target for the line of business applications I'll be installing. So with the service packs all installed and everything's updated, I now want to install VMware tools. All I did was right click on the virtual machine, select guest, and install VMware tools. So it popped up. Simply running through the install, I'm going to elect to do a complete install. So we're going to need to restart. So now if we right click on the VM and we go to template, clone to template, this will actually allow us to create a template that we could provision at will here. So I'm going to change the name. I have a standard naming convention for templates. I select the host. Now if we go down to tasks, 
we can monitor the progress of this. Okay, and the last thing is I need to add a hyphen here in the name to meet my own naming convention. And now we have a Windows 2008 template. 